So here we are at the beginning of this game. Watch this. So we hit continue. See how that whole HUD just stretched across the screen? It doesn't even stay inside the brackets. Because my understanding, I guess this is where it belongs. Just like this cannot stay inside of its brackets. And that's just for starters. So here we go. We got good reflection, precipitation, biometric fog. Everything's looking good. But what we don't have is, we still don't have a lock picking screen. It's just not here. See that? How many bobby pins I got? Let's take a look and see exactly how many bobby pins I have. Because with all these updates, you figure they could accomplish that. I have 203 bobby pins. And no way to unlock this device. And all these updates they got. And worrying about some new survival mode. And they still can't get this done. Outstanding. The, the only way to unlock this is right there. Then you type in. Now it's unlocked. See, I shouldn't have to do this. What I should be able to do is just go in here and hit the regular unlock screen and just unlock it. Instead, I have to go into the command mode and then attempt to unlock it. Is that how this game is supposed to be played? Because everything else is working. So I, I don't really see the massive science behind this. Why that can't work. Because after all, I can pick the locks in Skyrim, Oblivion, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. But they, it just cannot be done here. All this is cool. And whatever the updates are for, I suppose, is cool. And, you know, that looks about right when you're walking in the countryside. But the lock picking screen, oh, that's... That's beyond the developer's capability of fixing. Because it's just not possible to make it work right. Their, their brains sag out somewhere. It's very frustrating. Let's take a look here. So, Sunshine Tidings Co-op says I have no beds and no water. So... All these people are suffering. Alright. Let's see how much they're really suffering. Let's go to the map. Let's see here. Where is that? See, I'm not part of any group. So basically they're my responsibility. Forget that. So we're just going to go there and see what the problem is. Okay, here we are. Now, this was a place that I like set up a long time ago. So it's saying that there are no beds or water supply here at all. Okay. Looks like there's beds in here, don't it? It's a extra power armor that I place at each of my locations so they have something to do. Hmm. Looks like there are plenty of beds here. So, what in the world is it talking about? It says there's no beds here. There's 19 beds and there's 24 water, 12 people. This is what I'm talking... They're worried about an update on some stupid survival thing and they still got these little glitches going off here see all that information I got all the water that they need all the beds they'll ever need more more than the people count here and everybody's feeling good about it it's like what was that all about 
Yeah? What's up? These are the... These people are guards that I set up. So you can kind of say that all my settlements, that's how all my guards are dressed. Uh, leathers and combat armor. That way I can tell the difference between them and the real bad guys so I ain't shooting at the wrong ones. Okay, I got business to do here. Where is that caravan driver? Anyways, see like what I mean? It's just... Well, they want our pipe pistols and stupid ammo. It's like they're worried about updating one thing and trying to get that in order. Something they added and they got this other garbage still going on. It makes no sense.